Hello, it's Nancy today. I'm having a bit of difficulty and I need to talk to somebody and there's nobody around to talk to, so you're it. Hi. Aren't you happy about that? Well, here it comes. <laughs> Get ready. Are you sitting down? Well, here we go from the Situation Room in West Virginia on I-77. Let it be written, so let it be known, that I find this a difficult road to navigate. The speed limit in kilometers is 113 kilometers. I'm going 107. I find it really hard to go 113 because there's so many curves in the road. And it just seems like I'm twisting around. I'm always twisting this way, twisting that way, and I'm just not... I also can't find my ice pack. I had it on my chair, and I must have put it over there, but I don't see it over there. It's also windy out. I can feel the wind blowing. And there's an awful lot of traffic, considering that we're in the mountains in West Virginia. Who goes to the mountains in West Virginia? People that live in West Virginia, perhaps, Nancy. It's beautiful here. I would like to live here. I could live in there, in those woods. Just take my cabin along set it up. Yeah, some good woods over there. Anyway, here's another curve. Around and around and around we go. See, I'm going 109. People are passing me. People have got their brake lights on. Hey, what's that? Is that a dog on the side of the road? Somebody's dog is loose. Oh, and there's another dog there. Oh my gosh. One dog, like one dog to another. So it's a dead dog and then a friendly dog that's gone to check them out. Where do they live? Oh yeah, look, there's roads. See, if you look up on that closely, you'll see there's other roads. And there's a go backwards place. Well, I'd like you to know that I have seen my first snow. On my journey north, March 31st, I've been through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and now I'm into West Virginia on I-77. I'm going to go up right through the middle, right up to Morgantown, before I head off elsewhere, who knows where. So, if I see that snow again, I'll let you know. There's no snow here, but a while back there was some in the woods. The woods floor was speckly white. Willem says that our valleys and the hillsides near us are still white, but there are some open open areas right around trees. You know, there's a circle right around trees. Oh, look at that sign that said curve two miles. So let me see if that means that it's gonna curve for two miles or in two miles. Here we begin on a curve. It's also raining. Did I mention that it's raining? Now, I don't want to complain. I'm very fortunate that my car works, that I'm not by the roadside with a broken car, that I'm not trying to walk, that I'm not trying to hitchhike. I'm very fortunate that I'm not in lots of pain. I'm in a little pain. I'd like to find my ice pack. I'm very fortunate that it's not raining cats and dogs. I'm also fortunate it's not snowing. Okay, here's the beginning of the curve. And is this going to curve for two miles? We're going to go right around the mountain. Another one it says one mile curve in one mile or for one mile. Two seven is my end of my speedometer. It's ten degrees outside. That's fair uh, Celsius, so that's fifty degrees or something. So in one mile still says two seven that I did not get my oil changed at the right time. I am now a thousand kilometers over, which is about 500 miles over. Okay, so here we are. It's one kilometer and a bit, and here's our curve. 55 miles an hour. I guess they told us that 55 miles an hour, that means even I have to slow down. Even I. going 94. 55 is about 